Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. No, it's the first time. But the fact that they're reaching out, well, it's given me a lot to think about. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. If you want to help, I feel like I need to give you some background. Just bear with me. It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy, a small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed, because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. That depends on your definition of significant. Discover a rare neutron star, and no one cares. But slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN, and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star. It's all about the propaganda, what gets the people excited. That's what the United Colonies was focused on at the time. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore. Not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand, once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't. Not now, but thank you for being there and listening. It helped, it really did.